Knock, knock. Who's there? Eric. Eric who? Eric Sue. <laughs> I don't know about you, but Eric Sue found that joke very funny. Unless you just arrived from Mars, you would know that these are very COVID times. I mean, stressful times. Everyone is scared, serious, and masking their anxieties and faces. Many schools and businesses remain closed, but I must remind you that laughter and humor must always remain open for business. Eric Sue is not a doctor, but he can tell you with one hundred percent certainty that laughter and humor must always remain open for business. No matter how serious things are, life is full of moments worth laughing, smiling, and chuckling. You and I came into the world crying. But the doctors and nurses knew better; they were smiling and happy. Just a few months ago, if you wore a mask in public, people would stare at you, and think you're either going to a Halloween party, or you are a bank robber. Nowadays, people are even wearing masks at home. The problem is serious, but we can still laugh at ourselves. Wearing this new fashion, imagine how pathetic our lives would be right now if we just walked along with long and serious faces all the time. Nobody is born funny, except Eric Sue. If you don't have a sense of humor, no problem. I will teach you and get you giggling. Knock knock. Who's there? Sue. Sue who? Sue you. See, you have been warned. Better laugh at my jokes, or I will sue you. Guess what I'm gonna be when I grow up? Astronaut? No. Politician? Never. Whatever your guess is, you're wrong. Because I'm never gonna grow up, as the wise owl said, "Growing old is compulsory. Growing up is optional." My grandfather loves telling everyone, "My grandson Eric is gonna be a lawyer. He's always arguing." Now you know why my surname. Is Sue. You can die from an accident, cancer, or COVID, but it's much better to die laughing. Let me explain. When I was five, my grandma died. Laughing? It's okay. You can laugh. She's still alive. Early one morning, I was really hungry, so I snuck out of bed to get a cookie from the kitchen. As I tiptoed down, I see my mom is there, so I hide behind the wall. She's acting very strange. She's wearing gloves with a purple gel on it. Then she starts rubbing it all over her head. What is she doing? Does she have a headache? When she stops, I see that all her white hair has turned black. Wow! I've got to try this. When she walks away, I put on her gloves and decide to make my own black hair more black. The last thing I want to end up with is white hair like hers. As I'm about to put the purple gel on my head. My mom spots me, and freaks out. Eric, what are you doing? Don't touch that gel, or you'll die. I was so scared that I instantly take off the gloves and run to Grandma's room. Grandma.
Grandma, save me, save me! I'm gonna die! Grandma is totally confused. Save you from what, Eric? Why are you dying? I touched Mom's hair dye, so now I'm gonna die. No, you're not gonna die, Eric. You're too young and too handsome to die. Then she takes me to the washroom, washes my hands, and gives me a big hug. Oh no! Is that Mom in the audience? I'm totally dead for telling you that she dyes her hair. As you can see, your sense of humor is your most valuable blessing. It lightens your heart, improves your mood, it can lengthen your life and strengthen your relationships. You can never be too caught up in your works or studies to forget to laugh, have fun, or share jokes. Life without humor is like a burger without meat. Life without humor is like my mom without me, a tiger mom without her cub. One day when I was in preschool, I saw all my teachers dressed up in different costumes: astronaut, policeman, fireman, and of course. A teacher. They had dressed up to teach us about finding the keys to success in finding your passion. During recess that day, I wandered into the principal's office. You know, because it was empty, and I was curious. My eyes were suddenly attracted to a ginormous bunch. Of shiny, jingly keys. As no one was looking, I quietly put them in my pocket. Best day of my life. Suddenly, the principal walks in, and catches me, in the act. Eric, what did you just take? Nothing, Miss Rudek. I didn't take anything. Uh, what did you just put in your pocket? Nothing. Then I start backing away. Big mistake, because the keys in my pocket started jingling. Ah, I was busted. Are those my keys in your pocket? Oh, what am I gonna do? How was I gonna avoid detention? But then I remembered, I was born with a sense of humor. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Rudek. I thought these keys were the keys to my success. Thankfully, the teacher also had a sense of humor. No, Eric, these are not the keys to your success. But hold on to your sense of humor, because that will open a lot of doors for you in your future. And just like that, she let me off. As you can see, your sense of humor can be your get-out-of-jail card. But remember, I was in play school. I do not recommend you steal whatever you like and expect your sense of humor to keep you out of real jail. You may not believe this 11-year-old lawyer. But maybe you will believe the hundreds of doctors that say laughter is the best medicine in the whole world. Laughter brings people together, triggers healthy physical and emotional changes to the body. Laughter strengthens your immune system, boosts your mood, and protects you from the damaging effects of stress. That is why, in so many countries like India. They have laughter clubs, where hundreds of people get together daily and literally LOL or ROFL. Here are some ways you can develop your sense of humor. Number one, let your inner child play. Laugh at yourself, 
learn to make funny faces in front of a mirror or a camera. Look at the lighter side of life, and make laughter a compulsory part of your day. It will keep you young forever. Number two, practice telling jokes, but only if you want to get invited to more parties. Start with baby jokes. A family of tomatoes were taking a stroll when the baby tomato falls behind. Daddy tomato walks back and squeezes the baby tomato. Come on, catch up! <laughs> As you get better, tell longer jokes. An elderly man is dying. When he smells something, the baking of his favorite chocolate chip cookie. Even with his weak legs, he wanders to the kitchen. Where he sees his wife there, baking. With his last remaining strength, he reaches out for a cookie, but then his wife slaps his hand. Johnny, stop! These cookies are for your funeral. <laughs> See, even in the most serious occasions, find opportunities for humor. Number three. Tap into the right brain. Left brain people are logical, serious, and boring. That's why they're called geeks and nerds. Right brain ones are the ones that are popular, tell interesting stories, and get invited to speak at events like Get Inspired Talks. They are clever and creative, like this. Knock knock. Be like, be like me. I'm just kidding. Don't be like me, or I'll sue you. So go ahead, laugh at me, laugh at yourself, laugh at the world. Whatever you do, make people laugh. Today, tomorrow, every day, you'll make their day and your day, and the world will be a much funnier. And happier place.